get out there in the marketplace and just go buy a house. Rent sucks. So this video is not to tell you to get out there in the marketplace and just go buy a house and, you know, rent sucks. There's a lot of that going around and uh, a lot of that going on and a lot of that is true. But the one thing I did want to say is when it comes to buying a house um, and reasons to buy a house and all that stuff, it's all based upon what people's own personal experiences, personal preference and all that other stuff is. Interest rates are up over 7%, like 7.08% nationally, I think I just heard. So interest rates are going up. So people are thinking like, why in the world would I go and buy a, a house at these inflated prices, uh, at this inflated interest rate? I hear you because, you know, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But what is, uh, what's your other alternative, right, to rent a place? And basically what's going on right now is I'm in the market and I'm talking to people is rents are going up. So at the end of the day, now you're, you're at this crazy battle this, this crazy battleground where it's like, do I fight the inflation rate with buying a house or do I go in there knowing that I'm going to pay a higher monthly rent because rents are going up? So there's a lot of people who are kind of confused or a lot of people who don't know what to do. The one piece of advice that I would give you is let's sit down and let's talk through all of the options because you can be on one side of the fence or the other, but why don't we sit down, put some numbers to it and, and talk through what's actually going on and see what fits your own personal appetite. Because one person saying the interest rates are up high, but rent's going up high too. And I would rather just buy something now. And when the rates do go down, I'll refinance and you know solve it that way. And some people say, no way, Jose, because the rates are still way too high. It's making my monthly payment way too high, even if I, you know, refinance in the future my rates are still going to be higher than i'm looking to pay or higher than uh i'm comfortable paying so it's all based on personal preference so with that being the case instead of just like completely saying like ah screw this let's sit down and have a talk because we can talk through all of the different scenarios all the things that make the most sense for you what doesn't make sense for you at the end of the day, you got to feel comfortable with the decision that you're going to make. Nobody wants to get hoes. Nobody wants to get hoes. Nobody wants to get hoes. So instead of doing all that stuff, just have a conversation with your agent. It doesn't take all that long. It's not difficult. There's no pain involved. It's not going to break an arm or anything like that. But sit down get the information that you need so that you can make your best educated decision. Right now, the real estate game is low and slow. So the inventory is low and things are moving kind of slow right now. I totally get that. What are the, uh, you know, some of the perks and benefits to, you know, buying versus renting or renting versus buying? You know, obviously over the, over the long haul, when you buy a property, then, you know, you're putting money into that, gaining equity and at some point in time when you turn around you look to sell the house in the future the hope and the goal is and it's been pretty uh it's been pretty steady over all of time but usually properties appreciate in value and so you gain all that equity by buying a place whereas rent you ain't get nothing you rent a place for a year two years three years and then when you leave you know there's no possible chance of recouping any of that money because you don't have any built-in equity now why would some people say like hey i gotta rent well if you only plan on being in an area for a year or two or three or four it might make sense to just say hey i'm just gonna pay the money something temporary because you have to start weighing in uh what is it gonna cost you to acquire the house if you purchase because yeah you gotta put down down payment and all that stuff but, you know, there's closing cost and, you know, there's other things that go along with it. You got to pay for inspections, appraisals and all those things. And they all add up. So if it makes more sense from a financial standpoint to rent for the short term, as opposed to buy something and pay all that cost and do all those things, then it makes more sense to rent. Does it make sense to jump in and buy when it's at 7% interest rates? For some people, it does. Some people that doesn't really, you know, they need a, a place to live and they're going to be there in the long run. And 
they just say like, hey, at some point in time when the rates do dip back down, we'll just refinance. It is all personal preference and it's all a case by case scenario. So I don't want you to think this video is like a, a blanket statement, like you gotta buy a house. Rent sucks, rent's terrible, rent is, yeah. This is not that because everybody's situation is their own situation. So let me know what you think, throw it down in the comments. I'll read it, I'll respond. And based on your question, maybe I'll make a whole another video just for you. It's like you won the sweepstakes. Make sure you stay tuned because I'm gonna start putting out some more videos on different neighborhoods, kind of giving you the rundown on what it's like to live there, the amenities, location, access points, all that good stuff. So make sure that you guys stay tuned to my YouTube channel because that's where all the good stuff is. But more stuff is coming, I promise you that. Enjoy your day. I will see you all very soon on YouTube.